blessings blessings to you guys i have something to share with you right quick it is gonna encourage you this is gonna uh, strengthen you but i just want you to hear this i just want you to hear this let's get into this shalom everybody it's me chris i don't know who this is for but i know it's for somebody out there um i want to give you some words of encouragement the Father chooses people, unlikely people, to represent Him. You see, Yeshua picked the disciples was unlikely people to, to represent Him. They didn't study Scripture. They didn't do all these theological things. In fact, they were the opposite. And yet, Yeshua picked them. And you know, He picks the lowest of people to confine the wise. And he takes the weak to take down the mighty. Ladies and gentlemen, I am a loser. I am a nobody. But I am somebody in the Father. Now, the world standard, I am a loser. Okay? I graduated high school with a third grade reading level. I've been married three times. I used to be a transgender. I used to wear women's clothes. I used to be... Uh, 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 had pornography addiction. I used to have, uh, I, I, I used to dabble in some dark stuff. I have done some wicked things in my life. I've done drugs. I was an alcoholic. Uh, I, I was in the gang. I mean, I was all over the map. You know, yes, some of y'all have seen my testimony where I went to hell and y'all say, well, I thought you went to hell. You wouldn't be doing these things in your life or you hadn't done these things in your life. You know, and I'm going to tell you, I wonder if the Father hadn't shown me hell, what would I rather, what would I be without Him showing me hell? Let me tell you something. I'm not excusing the things I've done in my life, but I have to answer for all the things I've done in my life. But I'm going to tell you something. You remember Yeshua, He says, which one of these, uh, which, one, which one is grateful? Which one loves me more? And they say, well, the one that has a lot have been forgiven. I'm telling you, I've sinned a lot. And I'm going to tell you, I love my father. He loves me. And he's chose me. Now, a lot of people get jealous because I don't have a, a theological degree. A lot of people get jealous because they're wondering, why you pick him? He's got tattoos. Why would God pick him? Why would God pick him? He's been married. Wow. Yeah, people get so jealous and so envy and, you know, trying to tell God, her oh God, you, you would have done better on that. Three times. Why would God pick him? He used to be a transgender. Why would God pick him? He used to be in a gang. He used to do drugs. He used to, he used to be an alcoholic. Why would God pick him? I don't know. I've been asking the same question myself, but yet. I know. I've been asking the same question myself, too. You know, the, 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 that, that, that would be a, a, a level of uh, even David, the, the siblings, the brothers of David was like, go home. Who are you? Who are you? Why will, you know, why will God even choose you, you little man? Like, who are you in the family? But it's God who knows. Wow. He says he chose me. I have a destiny with him to share his gospel, to share his truth, to proclaim his, his word to people. Take it up with him. He's the one that chose me. I just have to keep being humble and submitting myself unto Him. He chose me. I didn't choose myself. He chose me. And I'm going to tell you, this is a word of encouragement. If He chose me, rest assured, no matter what you've done in your past or what you've been through, what prison you've been through, or who you killed, or what, what, what how many people you prostituted to, or you, whatever it may be, God can choose you. He can choose you. In fact, I think He chooses people like that more than He chose the people that haven't really done anything in their life or experienced because we know where we came from and we know who forgave of us our, of our sins. 
Brother, since I don't know who this is for, but I'm going to tell you, I am a nobody, but yet the Father chose me to speak his word to you guys. Either you accept it or you don't. Let that sink inside of you. Let's just, uh, just take it in and ask yourself, why do I have to bring up all these excuses? Why would I be, why, why? Why, why would I allow some, some things to, you know, take over my mind, you know, like, oh, I don't want people to judge me. I don't want people to do this. I don't want, uh, I don't want, uh, 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 excuses. It's great. It would be great. Let them judge you why God is loving you. Let them point evil fingers on you why God is speaking you. Let them do all those things. It's all about you and God. These people will not be in the heaven while God is judging. It's you and God. It's you standing alone. Your pastor, your mother, your, your wife, your husband will not stand when God will be judging you. It's just you and God. I decided to share this video. I saw it. And uh, I really appreciate it because... Uh, I saw the comment he commented about uh, his ministry and I tried to look into what's going on over there and I was very, very touched by this message. My God, all I want you to do, there's a lot of people that I need of this message. Share this video. Let somebody be encouraged. You know, a lot of things that is going on in this world right now, a lot of things and people are just giving up. People don't, uh, because of a, a lot of accusation or bringing, uh, you know, putting people down and all that, people are just uh, losing their mind, uh, losing their faith, losing their belief. Use this video to settle somebody. Use this video to encourage somebody. Thank you. Uh, his name is uh, Christopher. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for being bold and to speak the word. All right. God love you guys. You're still encouraged. Bye.